the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another night in the blood. Hallelujah. I'm Apostle Lee Robinson. God bless you wherever you're tuning us from. We appreciate you and honor you in this hour. We want you to know that we value you, value. We know that how valuable time is and that you are sowing your time to receive in this hour. I believe that you are going to be uh, rewarded tremendously because you are sowing and you are partnering with the blood of Christ. Uh, and we want to say thank you, Apostle April, and I just honor you right now. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit that su subscribe button and subscribe to us. Hit that bell. It'll notify you whenever we're going live. And we honor you. Thank you so much for all our new subscribers. We honor you and welcome you to this channel where we honor the Lord Jesus Christ at all times. Hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name. Tonight, we're going to deal with the blood yet again. We are in, in the midst of 31 days with the blood of Christ. I want to say this to you, those that are, are chiming in. We want you to partner with the blood this month. Because God has given us an insight of coming into 2023 through the blood. And he gave us that image from Exodus 12 and 7. If you haven't heard that message, go back and, and, and listen to that message. There's a blessing in uh, partnering with Exodus 12 and 7. We heard an incredible testimony the other night concerning that. There is a blessing in Exodus 12 and 7 when you activate the blood of Christ. Hallelujah in Jesus' mighty name. Well, God has showed us how to come into this year. We're coming in through the blood. So we welcome you to partner with us. We are fasting this month. We want to invite you to join us. We're doing the Daniel fast for 31 days. You're welcome to do so. Also, get us your prayers so we can partner with you and pray with you. Many of you are sending me your emails. I'm in my prayer room praying over them every day, declaring victory through the blood on your behalf. Praise God. But tonight, let's get started. Tonight, we're going to deal with another law that I found in the blood of Christ. Tonight, we're going to deal with the law of breakthrough. The law of breakthrough through the blood of Christ. That's right. The blood of Christ guarantees you breakthrough. <laughs> Glory to God. Isn't that powerful? The blood of Christ guarantees you breakthrough. So tonight we're going to deal with that, the law of breakthrough. Uh, Elder Blitz, if you would, get me Revelation 7 and 14. Prophetess, if you get me Micah 2 and 13. Micah 2 and 13. So let's deal with another law in the blood. And so the, tonight we're going to show how the blood will give you breakthrough. Whatever you face it, whatever the enemy is throwing to you, there is a weapon. That's right. I want you to write this down somewhere that the blood of Christ is a weapon. That's right. It is a weapon. And when you apply it, when you plead the blood of Jesus, the adversary has no weapon, no weapon in his arsenal to match the blood. That was a statement that the Holy Spirit gave me in the mountain in June of 2020. And since then, I have seen the blood bring me to victory after victory after victory. And tonight, we're going to show you how to apply the blood so that you can have breakthrough in your life. Glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name, let's go. Hallelujah. Revelation 7 and 14 says what, uh, Elder Wallace, Elder, uh, Elder Bliss? I said to him, my Lord, you know, I'm sorry, I'm in Amplified. Let me go to King James. No, no, no. Stay in Amplified. That's even better. Come on. Okay. Hallelujah. Amplified. <laughs> 7 and 14. I said to him, my Lord, you know the answer. And he said to me, these are the people who come out of the great tribulation, persecution. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb because of his atoning sacrifice. My God, did you hear that out there? Did you hear that? These people came out of tribulation. What is tribulation? In, in fact, the Bible says great tribulation. Okay. Now, many are using this scripture for the end times, glory to God. But the blood of the lamb can be applied right now. And it can give you the same victory that these have been recorded in the, in the book of Revelation. It said they came out the great 
great, great uh, tribulation. Hallelujah. It says they wash their robes in the blood of the lamb. The robes represents them. They hold a whole DNA, their whole body. Glory to God. They wash their robes in the blood of the lamb. And they came out of the tribulation because of the blood. In other words, they came out of the trial. They came out of the fire. They came out of the struggle. They overcame or they have breakthrough because of the blood of the lamb. And because they did that with the blood, ladies and gentlemen, we can witness the same thing in our life when we apply the blood. When we partner with the blood, you can have victory. And all you have to do is partner with the blood and do as they done. What did they do? They washed their robe or they submerged themselves in the blood. We saw this with Exodus 12 and 7, that the breakthrough that God gave them by, by marking their house, by, by, by putting the blood on their doorpost and on the lintel, it guaranteed them what? Victory. And so therefore, they the first breakthrough that technically that the church witness was through the blood. Now, I want you to look at this. I want you to see this. It's a very powerful. Revelation 7 and 14 is dealing with the end time. We are now in the tent end times, ladies and gentlemen. It's not coming. We're already in it. it it's going to get darker and darker, but we're already in the end time. But this scripture guarantees us that if we partner with the blood, if we submerge with the blood, glory to God, if we come in agreement with the blood, we will have breakthrough. Praise God. Whatever you facing tonight, whatever is challenging you and challenging your destiny, your breakthrough is hidden in the blood of the Lamb. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Now, Glory. there is a way, glory to God, that the blood gives us this breakthrough. And tonight, we're going to break this thing down. We're going to look at a couple of things that what we need to do when we partner with the blood and what the blood is going to give us. Now, when we submit to the blood and partner with the blood, and tonight, I want you to, to, to hear me when I say, I want you to start using the blood as a weapon. I remember one time I was I was battling something. I was in the spirit and I was battling something. This is this is about a year after I had received this revelation. And so this is how I received this 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 law, the the the, the law of breakthrough in the blood. It was about a year in into the revelation. And then one morning I was up praying and I was in the spirit and I saw this 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 dark entity. And it was dark and great size, and it was massive. It was moving. It was consuming things, and it, and it was it was, it was consuming things at great rate. And I, it was coming towards me, and I began to war, and I began to fight this thing. Hallelujah! But then I I, I began to plead the blood. I began to. I, Apply the blood to this dark entity, and I can feel the the force that was coming from this dark entity, and I can feel the the, the authority that was coming from it, and it was of great magnitude. But saints, when I applied the blood, when I called upon the blood, and I saw the blood come down with great force, and when it came down with great force, and I began to plead the blood, that blood began to destroy this entity. And the entity left, hallelujah, my view, it left the region, it left the area. Why? Because the blood guarantees us breakthrough. Hallelujah. And the more you fellowship with the blood, the greater the authority that comes from you when you apply it or when you plead it. Glory to God. And so because the blood gives us, because the blood leads us into breakthrough, there is a frequency that the blood wants us to follow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I want you to write this down. What is breakthrough? Breakthrough is an act of breaking through an act of breaking through the opposition of the adversary and the plans and plots that he has that is hidden from your natural eye. I'm going to say that again. Breakthrough is the act of breaking through the opposition of the adversary. Plans, plots that the adversary has 
that is hidden from your natural eye. What the blood does is, is destroy what you cannot see, but you can feel it and sense it. Glory to God. But you may not see it naturally, but and you may not see it spiritually, but you can feel and sense that something is opposing you. Something is trying to stop you. But the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, when it's applied, it disrupt, destroy, and, and break you through the opposition of the adversary. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's take a look. Let's, let's watch because there's a frequency that the blood taps into. When we follow this frequency, when, when, we, when we partner with the blood, the blood going to take us through this frequency, and this frequency will guarantee us the, the same breakthrough as our Savior. Micah 2.13 and Elder Blitz, give me Hebrews 4 and 14. Micah 2.13, what does it say, prophetess? Micah 2 and 13. 2 and 13. The breaker is come up before them. Mm. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them and the Lord on the head of them. Wow. The breaker shall come up what? Before them. Okay. So who is our original breaker? Jesus Christ. Yes. He's our king. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. So he has what? Trailblaze. Okay. He has trailblaze. Now I'm familiar with the breaker anointing. Glory to God. I've seen it work. Hallelujah. We, we, we've seen it work in our ministry, but there's a power inside of the blood that, that, that has a breakthrough power, a breakthrough force that liberates the enemy's opposition. It does not stand a chance when a individual, a blood-bought individual who has partnered with the blood that says, you know what? Enemy, you no longer can oppose me. Tonight, I'm coming with the blood. Hallelujah. I'm leading with the blood because I'm following the same frequency of the king who gave me the blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. See, see, what the blood does, when we partner with the blood, the blood puts us in the same frequency of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And when he broke through, when he broke through, the blood takes us into that same frequency, that same tenacity, that same passion, that same authority, that same glory, that same power, that same force. Yes, the blood puts us in the same frequency of the king who gave you the blood hallelujah praise god now you see that the blood is a weapon that the adversary can't match so jesus is the breaker that preceded us hallelujah and and this and he just destroyed the enemy he destroyed, the Bible says he made an open shame of them. Hallelujah. This is what happens when you apply the blood. You make an open shame of the devil. You make an open shame of his plans. You make an open shame of his plot. When you merge with the blood, you make an open shame of the adversary. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. This is why we need to activate this law. This law that's hidden in the blood, when we submerge like Revelation showed us, when we submerge with the blood, when, and all I'm saying is partnering with the blood, fellowshipping with the blood on a daily basis, we now submerge, and now that blood has legal right to take us through that same frequency of the king that gave us that blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it says that it says that the king shall be on their head. Means that the that that now because my God, somebody hear me tonight. Because you have submerged in the blood and partnered with the blood, now Jesus Christ now can sit upon that platform, sit upon that altar. And now he now the Bible says that in Michael, he says that and the king sat on them. 
The head sat on them. That's what we want in the body of Christ in this hour. That's what I'm crying for in the body of Christ in this hour. That's why I'm I'm applying the blood all the time in the body of Christ because we need the head to speak. We've been hearing from all the other other people and all the other gifts, but we need the head in this hour. We need Jesus Christ to speak with great force and authority through us. We need to submit to the head in this hour. That's what we need. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, Elder Bliss, give me Hebrews 4 and 14. What does it say? Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Wow. So we have a what? Great high priest. Look what he said. He has passed through the heavens. He has already broke through. Hallelujah. He has Lord. already went through everything on our behalf. Now, how do we, my God, how do you and I receive the same breakthrough in our life? We do that by submerging and partnering with the blood because the blood is going to take us through the same frequency. You supposed to be, you supposed to be seeing victory after victory after victory every day. Oh. In the blood, I'm going to make a statement to that. In the blood of Christ, there is no such thing as delayed victory. Mm. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. In the blood, there is no such thing as delayed victory because the blood makes everything happen immediately. Hallelujah. Once Hallelujah. you apply the blood, there is no force. There is no power. There is no entity to match it. That's why we need our faith to be unlocked in this hour so that we can fully sow our faith in the blood and then follow the frequency of our Savior. The same breakthrough that he witnessed is the same breakthrough we should have. There is no principality to match this power. There is no witch to match this power. There is no warlock to match this power. There is no sorcery, no black power, no root-working power to match the blood. Hallelujah. You're supposed to have breakthrough every day. It does not matter what the enemy throws. If you are one with the blood, if you have submitted to the blood, breakthrough is guaranteed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah tonight. In Jesus mighty name. Okay, so let's look. So the first thing in order for us to have these countless victories, and I'm prophesying to somebody tonight, where you seen defeat, you will not see defeat no more. Where you see setback, you will not see setback no more. Where you have been witnessing delay, you will not witness delay no more. Because this law is designed to remove the adversary's best defense that is opposing you in this hour. I decree by the blood of the Lamb, I decree by this law that you shall now move with great authority and boldness and confidence. This is the hour of your victory. This is the hour of you moving forward and not backwards. I decree that 22 won't even match what's happening to you in 23. You're going to walk in so much victory in 23. Glory to God. You're not going to remember the pain of 22. You're not going to remember the setbacks of 22. You're not going to remember the misery of 22. Glory to God. The blood is about to unlock a law that calls you to see breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. This is the hour of victory, I say. I yes. say this is the hour of victory. This is not the moment of setback because of this law and because of the power that we're trusted and because of the Savior that gave us to us, we have the same authority to move in that same frequency. If he broke through to the heavens and nothing opposed him, nothing stopped him, why are we being stopped and delayed? My God. Help because us. we're not using an ancient technology, the blood of the lamb. 
The Bible says in Revelation that they came out of great tribulation. Hallelujah. Because they took their robe and dipped it in the blood. My God, where is the uh, generation that's getting ready to take their covering, to take their anointing, to take their grace, to take their ministry, to take their family, to take their business, glory, glory to God, to take their de de destiny and dip it in the blood and say to the adversary, you won't be able to stop me in 23. Hallelujah. I'm about to walk in the power and authority of the blood. I am and will have breakthrough. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So what robe are you going to dip in the blood tonight? Somebody, hallelujah, you need to type in the box. I'm, I'm dipping my destiny. I'm dipping my family. Glory to God. I'm dipping my business. I'm dipping my ministry. Glory to God. Dip it in the blood like Revelation did when they took their robes, their robes, and they dipped it in the blood. And they came out of great tribulation. If he's doing it for them, he must do it for us because God is no respect to a person. Oh, glory to God. Now, watch this. Now, the first thing the blood is going to do, uh, 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 blitz, uh, blitz, give me John 1 and 51. Okay, now, what, what the blood is doing is setting us up. OK, because the blood want us to partner with it, but the blood needs you want to say the blood needs our participation. It needs our partnership. Number two, the blood needs your faith. Number two, the blood. Number three, the blood needs you to remove yourself from religious thoughts. The blood needs you what? To move from religious thought. What do religious thoughts, Apostle? Uh, I don't know the blood can do that. I don't think the blood can do that. Listen, the blood is a lie. The blood is a lie. And the Holy Spirit said to me, if it speaks, it's a lie. And if it's a lie, you can fellowship with it. You must remove that religious seed so that the blood can unleash itself fully in your life. If you only satisfy, my God, so I'm talking to somebody. If you only satisfy with the blood cleansing your sins, you are missing the full power and authority and purpose of the blood. Hallelujah. You must move as a son. If the blood was unnecessary, why shed it? If the blood don't have a higher purpose, why release it? The blood has a higher. Now look at it this way. Look at it this way. Let's let's just take the natural. Let's let's take the natural image of a thing. If if you was to go to the doctor right now, the doctor can tell how healthy you are by simply drawing your blood. Is that right? And the doctor can look in your blood and basically tell how healthy you are. It can even, through your blood, tell your generational history. <laughs> Glory to God. So that means that the blood is speaking to the doctor concerning you, and you don't even have to be at, physically at the building. My God. So if the blood can do that from us, my God, how much more can the blood of Christ do for us that when we okay. partner with it, hallelujah, when we submit to it, how much more can the blood of Christ, hallelujah, who has no sin, no iniquity, no trespassing, no transgression in it, when we apply it, what can it do for a blood bought believer? Glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. The blood does so much, even on a natural, natural uh, 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 platform. From us, the blood can tell the doctor so much. My God, what is the blood trying to do for us? The blood of Christ, the blood of the Lamb. Look what it did for those in Revelation 7 and 14. It brought them out of tribulation. 
My God, the blood is waiting to give you victory like you never had before. I feel the, this is one of the laws I'm so excited about. Hallelujah. Because this law right here is about to turn the table for so many of you out there. Hallelujah. You will never see defeat again. Praise God. Did you hear what I just said? You Hallelujah. will never witness defeat again. Glory to God. The blood guarantees you victory and breakthrough. Guarantees. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, let's go. Now, the first thing that the blood has to do, because the blood needs to set us up, but the blood needs our participation. Okay? So, for us to follow the frequency of the king, that shed the blood for us, the blood takes us to stages so that we can witness breakthrough on a daily basis. That's right. You heard the preacher right. I said on a daily basis. The Holy Spirit is exhausted with seeing us being defeated. The power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the kingdom of God, the word of God and the blood, we should never see victory defeat in our life. We should never witness it. It's because we're not using these weapons properly. Praise God. I have an assignment to help you understand the blood. Let's take a look. John 1 and 51. What does it say, Elder Bliss? And he saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Wow. What? The angels are what? Ancient. Look what he said. Now he said, From this day forth you shall see what? The heavens open. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, so this is what the Holy Spirit said to me. In order for the blood to cause you to have breakthrough, y'all must understand that you are under an open heaven. You don't need to pray, I, 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 open, I ask for open heaven. No, no, no. Jesus made a statement. He said, from this day forward, you shall see the heavens open. When Jesus ascended, he didn't close the heaven. My God. So why are you crying and warning for the heaven to open? The heavens are already open. You just need the blood to follow that trailblaze that Jesus did when he ascended. You need to merge with the blood. Hallelujah. And merge with the authority of it so that you can move in the same frequency Glory to God, that your Savior ascended to the heavens. The heavens are open. You don't need to ask for the heavens open. They are open. Jesus never closed the heaven. So God said to me, he said, you must convince your people and those that are watching you that you already under open heaven. You need the blood to tap into that frequency that your Savior ascended in, and you can have the same breakthrough and the same uh, authority as him. The blood desires that you are confident. So the first thing that the blood has to do is help you develop a prayer life. My God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you listening to me? Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Okay. Yes. So now, in order to do this, the blood must develop a healthy prayer life. Okay. In that prayer life is how the blood helps you ascend to a heaven that's already open. My God. Let me show you, okay? Please write this down. The blood desires that you, you are confident that when you pray, that there is an immediate response. Why? Because there's an open heaven and not a delayed one. The moment you believe you are in a delay, the blood stops fighting for you. God. Woo, my God. Did somebody hear that? Wow. Uh, 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 Prophetess, give me Acts 2 and 17, okay? All right. Now, 
Now, listen to me very carefully. You have to understand that when Jesus ascended, he never closed the heaven. So therefore, when you enter into prayer, you must pray from an open heaven, not warring to open the heavens. You don't want to open the heavens. You, no, no, no. You, you move in confidence because the blood is so bold, so powerful, and so confident that yes. it knows that it has an open heaven. It just needs to convince you Jesus. that you have already received. You already healed. You yes. already delivered. You already yes. have broken through. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your, your job now is to worship and live and, and praise God. And, and then heaven now, watch this. Heaven does what Jesus said. Jesus said, angels we are ascending from this day. The, you will see angels ascending and descending. The angels only move based off of the faith that you have tied yourself into the open heaven. Okay. You okay. So Hallelujah. If, your faith hits that healing. Your faith hits that debt cancellation. Your faith hits that breakthrough, and the angels come down and deliver what your faith says you already have. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Am I making sense? Are you listening to me tonight? Yes. Yes, yes. Praise God. You, you see, the, the, the blood cannot move beyond your doubt. The blood can't move beyond your reason, your uncertainty. See, the blood already knows it had purchased. My God, somebody tonight hear me. The blood knows it already has purchased your breakthrough. The blood knows that the Father already purchased your healing. The blood knows it has, that the Father has already purchased your, your deliverance. But the blood is looking for the frequency that your master ascended with, which is faith. And then it triggers the angels to descend with what you are faithing for. The law of breakthrough is in the blood. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. are you hear what I'm saying tonight? Stop looking for an open heaven and receive one. Stop warring yeah. for an open heaven and accept that Jesus never closed the heavens. He left it open for somebody. He left it open for another son. He never left it open for another believer, another blood ball, one that's going to follow behind him in the same frequency, hello, with the same what blood that he left for us to have breakthrough with. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen. somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You see? Okay. Before we go there, uh, 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 Elder Blitz, before we go to Acts 2 and 17, Elder Blitz, give me Romans. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. I hope I'm making sense tonight to somebody. Yes. Praise God. Oh, oh, oh you hear me tonight. Romans, give me Romans 8. Uh, Romans 8. Uh, uh, Blitz, because I need to show y'all something. The enemy, okay, now, I want you to write this out. The first thing that the blood is trying to do is get us to, 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 to receive and, 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 and accept an open heaven, okay? All right, so you, when, you, when you know you're under open heaven, okay, you pray different than when you don't believe the heavens is open, okay? The enemy of your prayer life is condemnation. My God, I'm going to say that again. The enemy of your prayer life is condemnation. That's how the adversary stops you from believing you under an open heaven. Okay? But, uh, let's get here. Uh, uh, Romans 8 and 1. Okay? Let's go. My God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The law of breakthrough in the blood. 
Romans 8 and 1, Elder Blitz. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Okay, look what, look, what, look what Paul said. Paul said, there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. You are in Christ Jesus. What the blood does, it puts you into the same frequency of your Savior. It wants you to have the same nature that you read about in Jesus. It wants you to have the same authority that you read about with Jesus. In fact, the blood helped Jesus to walk in the power that couldn't be challenged. It wasn't just the Holy Spirit that helped him. It was his blood because he couldn't be challenged in this realm. He couldn't be challenged because he was not up the bloodline of this world. So nobody could come to him. No demon could come to him and say to him, you see, this is why Jesus said to his disciples one day when he was teaching and he said to them, I need y'all to depart from me right now. He said, because the adversary come and he find nothing in me. You get it? In me, in me. So in other words, what the adversary came, he couldn't find no guilty, guilty individual in Jesus because his bloodline took him straight to the father. And there was nobody in his bloodline that had iniquity, that had sin or had trespasses. Like when he come up on us, glory to God, if our iniquity or trespasses or sin have not repented of, glory to God, if we have repented, he can still search our bloodline and try to find somebody guilty and bring that to our charges. But my God, when he came upon Jesus, Jesus said to the disciples, depart from me, because the arrow said, come, and he find nothing in me. There's nothing in my bloodline that will make me guilty. Glory to God. That will cause me to fall to temptation. That will cause me to accept sin. That will cause me to be guilty by iniquity. Nothing is in me. And so the blood has an agenda, and the blood is trying to do the same thing to you and I. So that we can have breakthrough. But there's an enemy that fights us in our prayer law called condemnation. My Lord. Condemnation, because I'm talking to somebody tonight. I know who I know you all here. When you go to pray, see condemnation, watch this. Condemnation is the spirit that stakes you must pay to re-enter God's presence. Mm. My God, did you hear what I just said? Condemnation is the spirit that tells you you must pay to re-enter. Condemnation is the spirit that makes you feel guilty after even after you have repented. See what the blood does. That's why I, I want you to hear this tonight. I want you to understand. This is why the blood wants you to, to, to accept this law. See, the blood gives you immediate immediate deliverance, immediate cleansing. See, the moment your heart, you, you, one moment you, with your heart, when you repent with your heart, the blood removes the penalty. Are you hear what I'm saying? But condemnation have you thinking that you need to get paid for the sin that you have committed when the blood says there is no sin. Amen. Hallelujah. The blood said Lord. there is no sin. There's no iniquity. So when, when the adversary comes to the courts of heaven and try to, 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 to get you uh, denounced by the Father, the blood has already moved based off of your repentance. And, and the Father says, uh, there, what, what are you showing me? There's nothing there. Because the blood has moved it. But condemnation works from us, not necessarily the devil, come the nature works from you. Something inside of you makes you feel unworthy of the presence of the Father that you're in. So condemnation deals with a pain or a wound that you have grown with, that you have not become, you have not become valuable in your own eyes. So when you go in the presence of God, you feel like you got to pay for his presence to come. Come. Come the nation is the same spirit that tells you, I don't feel God, even though you've been praying for hours. That's condemnation. And God is all around you. God is loving on you. God is touching you. But condemnation won't allow you to feel his very presence. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. That's condemnation. Condemnation says you too old to achieve what God has called you to do. Mm. Oh, I'm talking to somebody tonight. Help us. Hallelujah. I'm talking well, to somebody yes, tonight. You are. Yes, you I'm are. talking to somebody tonight. See, condemnation is that lying spirit that's in you that says you missed it. Oh, you too old. You can't do that now. Glory to God. You miss your moment. The blood is a redeemer. Ah, glory. Let me show you how condemnation have people working. They thinking that they don't miss their moment, that they're too old. If you're too old, watch this right here. Acts 2 and 17. What does it say, prophetess? Come on, talk to me tonight. Hallelujah. We about to have breakthrough. You about to experience breakthrough. After tonight, there will be no more adversary to oppose you because you're about to stand in confidence. You're about to unleash the blood in front of you, and you're about to follow the trailblaze of the blood and the voice of the blood. Hallelujah and the power and demonstration of the blood. You are about to witness victory after victory after victory. Hallelujah. You are about to do things that's never been done before in your bloodline. You are about to accomplish things that the enemy said you were not going to accomplish because the blood refused to let you fail. So the blood is saying, get ready for breakthrough. All I need is your participation. Dip your life in my blood. Dip your mind in my blood. Dip your conscience into my blood. Dip your eyes in my uh. blood. And you will see your victory. Dip your ears in my blood and you will hear the sound of victory. Glory to God. The law of breakthrough is in the blood of Jesus Christ. Ah, glory. Yes, hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar that have lied to you and said you're too old. You have missed it. If that's true, then the blood can't be a redeemer. If that's true, then God can't be a redeemer. The Bible says he's redeeming the time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If your mind believes it, your flesh will manifest it. I'm going to say it again. If your mind believes it, your flesh will manifest it. Glory. You must take on the mind that's in the blood. What mind is in the blood? Jesus Christ. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. What kind of mind did Jesus have? This is the kind of mind that Jesus had. Jesus said, all things are possible for them that believe. What kind of mind did Jesus have? Give me that five fish, two loaves. Give it to me. Multiply. What kind of mind did Jesus have? You know what? I don't need no boat. Let me walk on this water in uh, Jesus' mighty name. What kind of mind did Jesus have? Stretch forth his hands in a blind man's seat. What kind of mind did Jesus have when he said, move the stone and let it come forth? You must have this mind so that the blood can have you walking in breakthrough like you never walked in before. You must understand you are in an open heaven. You ain't in no jail. You ain't in no limit kingdom. You in a kingdom that has no limit. You in a kingdom that moves by power and authority and faith in God, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My Glory God, my God. God. It's time for breakthrough in your life. Yes. It's time Glory. for breakthrough yes. in your yes. life. No more defeats. No more delays. Hallelujah. It's time for breakthrough and it's in the blood of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. My God, my God. Hallelujah. The blood, yes, the yes, blood yes. come to stir you up tonight. The blood come to tell you it's not over. God, it's not done with. If you still breathing on this side of time, you ain't crossed into eternity. Glory to God. Eternity is where it's over. Time means you got time. You got time. And you have time tonight. I don't care how late it is. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how long you've been in that thing. I don't care how long you've been cut up. If you ready for breakthrough in Jesus' Right tonight, the same faith you put in everything else, the same faith you put in those those pills that the doctors gave you. Come on, somebody. The Come same on. faith that you gave that psychiatrist. Come on, somebody. The same Come faith on. that you gave that mentor. The same faith that you sold to that prophet. You sold it in the world yes. and watch the breakthrough that you're about to walk in. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. in the blood called breakthrough. You gonna uh, possess it tonight. Glory. Your family is about to. Your finances is about to see breakthrough. God, I wish I had somebody. Come on, come on. Say? Your finances is about to witness breakthrough. Now you hear what I'm saying? Because the blood is not satisfied with just you and your soul being free from sin and hell. The blood wants the enemy to pay for everything that he stole from you and your uh, your descendants. Hallelujah. We must be yes, yes. like the blood. We must have the same tenacity that Jesus put in the blood. That passion that was in Jesus is in the blood. The life that was in Jesus is in the blood. The power that he walked in is in the blood. Yes. Get ready for breakthrough. Hallelujah. 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 Watch, it's never too late. And see, condemnation will have you thinking you missed it. You messed up so bad. And condemnation will stop talking to you. I know I'm talking to somebody on here. See, condemnation got a got a slick way of making you feel bad and making you, you know, condemn yourself and, and make you you, you it, see condemnation is the gateway. I, I like to say condemnation is the clever gate that the enemy used to slip depression in. Because see, once you start condemning yourself, depression starts to come. Glory to God. And depression helps condemnation continue to condemn you and tell you you're not worthy, hallelujah, of, of the conversation of the Father. But let me make an announcement tonight. The blood of Jesus makes you worthy. Oh God, my say. I say the blood of Jesus makes you worthy. And all you have to do is repent and call upon the blood to wash you and cleanse you. And long as you did that with your heart, my God, you are free from condemnation tonight. Praise God. Prophetess, give me, give me Acts 2 and, 13, 2 and 17. Acts 2 and 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Wait a minute now. Is, is he using the old people too? <laughs> yes. Is that what that scripture just said? The old did, men. Did, did that just not okay. just say, my God, somebody talk to me tonight. Are you here? Did that scripture say he just using the young? Or did, it, did I hear right when it said, and your old men shall have what? Dreams. Dreams. Yes. You're not a, God of mercy, I want you to hear me tonight. The devil just lied to you. He's lying to you, condemnation. If the, if the elders are not in place in the old time, in, in the end time, then there cannot be a fulfillment of the harvest that John prophesied. So, so, so you need to now tell the devil tonight, you need to prophesy to him tonight that I am moving in the law of breakthrough through the blood of Jesus Christ. You're not welcome in my country. You're not welcome in my thoughts. You're not welcome in my heart. And now I know that I shall be used greatly in the end time. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Okay. Now, uh, Elder Bliss, give me First John 5 and 14. Okay. Because, see, the blood is attracted to something. See, the blood, that's why the blood is trying to develop us a healthy prayer life. Because a healthy prayer life is where the blood can, can get us to move in such a realm. You see what I'm saying? That we can move in the same frequency of our Savior. So if, if the blood can get us to get a healthy prayer life, there is nothing you and I cannot accomplish. The problem is getting us to have a healthy prayer life. But the blood says, the blood 
understand that it's fighting condemnation with many of us where we don't feel qualified. We don't feel smart enough. We don't feel like we got enough scripture. We don't feel like we got enough anointing. And see, some of that condemnation is coming up from us watching other men and women do stuff that you ain't called to do no way. Why are you trying to be a prophet uh -oh. when you're an evangelist? Be the best evangelist that you're called to be and you'll have a healthy prayer life. Stop comparing yourself. My God, some of you out there comparing yourself and you're doing stuff that other people are doing and that's why your prayer life is not healthy. Stop competing. Competition yeah. is the proof that your identity has been cracked. Yeah. Woo. Glory. Or, glory. Uh, hey. glory. Glory. Yeah. Hey. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Write, write this down somewhere. See, the blood, you see, <laughs> see, why am I saying that? Because the blood is trying to develop a healthy prayer life. When we have a healthy prayer life, we can ascend into the heavens the same way Jesus did without any restriction. And guess what, saints? When we, watch this up. <laughs> you ascend two ways. You ascend by your faith, okay? Your faith sends a frequency to heaven, okay? So your faith, see, see, faith is the seed that God uses to wipe out an earthly dead. <sighs> see, you, you ascend two ways. You ascend your faith, okay? And you can still be on planet Earth. And you can ascend in the spirit, okay? I, now, the blood prefers your faith to speak to heaven and your spirit to war on earth. <laughs> My God, did you hear that? The blood prefers, because why? Because the blood is already in heaven speaking for you. Now, will, you, will it cause you to have a heavenly experience? Yes, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a healthy prayer life, but you can't have a healthy prayer life if you keep looking at Jesse and comparing yourself to Jesse, not knowing how powerful your assignment is, yes, how great your assignment is. My God, I've had men inspire me throughout the ages. My wife and I, who we, we had incredible men inspire me as, as, uh, throughout the ages. I remember, come on, somebody, all of us have failed, pray to it. You need to get delivered. Come on, say amen. And so I, re I remember uh, the first man that inspired me when I first gave my life was Rod Parsley. Uh, man, God, Rod Parsley, is, he still inspired me to this day. But man, I wanted to be Rod Parsley. Mm -hmm. God of mercy. One day, the Holy Spirit said to me, who are you? Come on, come on. And I couldn't answer the question because I had mimicked him so much. Come on, I'm talking to somebody out there. I'm talking to somebody. I had mimicked him so much that even when I was preaching, I would shake my leg like him. Why? Because I was taking on an identity that wasn't mine. My God. My Lord. But one Sunday, God gave me this message, and that message freed me. I've been Lee ever since. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm here to prophesy to somebody tonight. Amen. You don't need to be Jakes. You don't need to be Juanita Bonham. You don't need to be Catherine Kuhlman. You don't need to be John G. Lake. You need to be you so that the blood can help you develop and help the prayer life so that you can shake the foundations of hell itself. You are so powerful. You are so directed by the kingdom of heaven that the enemy know that if he gets you competing against yourself, you won't be yourself. But tonight, there will be breakthrough through the blood of the Lamb and be who God created you to be. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God tonight. Hallelujah. There's a law yes. with the blood called breakthrough. And the first breakthrough the blood wants you to have is you breaking through yourself. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because you can't have breakthrough outside of you see, the greatest battle. Listen, the devil, the devil can't fight you head to head. You're too powerful. You just don't know it. You will. Because God got time. The greatest battle is you on you. Hallelujah. 
So that's why I'm telling you tonight. That's why the blood want to develop us with a healthy prayer life. Once we get a healthy prayer life, then we can develop something, glory to God in us, in the name of Jesus Christ, that cannot be stolen. Hallelujah. Not even by the adversary. Come on. First John 5 or 14. What does it say, Elder Bliss? And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. See, the blood, I want you to write this down somewhere and put it somewhere and make sure you have it where you can read it. The blood is attracted to confidence. Right now. Did you hear what I just said? The blood is attracted to confidence. And this is the confidence that we have. If we ask anything according what? To his will. Guess what? He hears you. Guess what? How does he hear you? Because the heavens is open. If the heavens were closed, he couldn't hear us. Right. <laughs> Hello. Glory. Come on. You need to move from these teachings that you have to war and open the heavens. Thank no, you. Jesus never Thank closed you. the heavens. Thank you. Your confidence proves that the heavens are open because according to 1 John 5, he said this is the confidence that we have, that if we ask anything according to his will, he what? Heareth he us. us. Yes. The blood is attracted to confidence. Woo! My God, hallelujah. Help us. The blood is attracted to confidence. And guess what? I want you to write this down because the Holy Spirit showed me this. The Holy Spirit showed me that whenever we merge with the blood and we when we speak the word, the blood enforces, or in other words, let me show you what, let me show you what he said. Okay, so right now I'm talking, right? And if I speak scripture by faith and confidence, those words come out. Watch this now. This is how the Holy Spirit showed me. He said, when you speak the word by faith, the blood enforces the word. So in other words, when the words come out of my mouth by faith, the word wraps around that word, that scripture that I'm speaking by faith, and then it goes into the atmosphere. And guess what? The devil can't challenge that word because that word is dipped in the blood of the Lamb. My God, that's why you're going to have breakthrough. Because you are taking the word and the blood and you're merging them together. Hallelujah. He already can't do nothing with the word. But here come the blood with the word. My God, come on, somebody. Are you hearing me? So, so the blood is what? The blood is attracted to confidence. The blood clears the way for the word to manifest when we speak by faith. The blood clears the way for the word to manifest when we speak by faith. The next thing the blood does after he develops a healthy prayer life is that the blood develops an intimacy. The blood helps us develop an intimacy so our confidence can release a glorious aroma to heaven. Let's get me Ephesians 2 and, 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 and 13. And prophets give me John 17 and 21. See, that's why the blood is trying to cleanse us. Because, see, the blood then develops an intimacy that it wants to develop an intimacy between us and not only the Word, not only the Holy Spirit, but us in heaven. See, that open heaven, Jesus said to the disciples, from this day forth, you shall see angels ascending and descending. Jesus had an intimacy with the Father that heaven could not refuse any request. This is what the blood is trying to develop with you and I. See, once they get a healthy prayer life, then that intimacy can be, be, be developed. Okay? Uh, Ephesians 2 and 13, what does it say, uh, 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 Elder Blitz? But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. How are we made? We are made what? Nigh by the what? The blood. Look at that. So 
once you was far off from the Father, but the blood now restores your sonship. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. The blood restores that relationship where there was a separation, where there was a division. According to Ephesians 2 13, the blood now restores us to an intimate level with the Father so that we are no longer bastards. Praise God. Glory, glory. This is the work. Of, now, now the blood is, is, is doing this for a reason. Because the blood is after something. Because the blood is trying to develop you so that you can continually walk in breakthrough. Not just once. Not just twice. And not just, you know, sprinkle here, sprinkle here. No. Jesus walked in breakthrough every day. And if Jesus did it, I have a legal right to do it, but I must do it through the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Praise God. John 17 and 21, because the blood is after a intimacy. Okay? Because the blood is after something. See, the blood is building something in us. The blood do not want to see any. Body that's been blood bought, witness the blood, do not want to witness defeat in any one of our life. And I'm talking every area. Because if the blow, if the blood is bold, why should not we be? Amen. If the blood is not aggressive, why should we not be? If it's in the blood, I want it. Hallelujah. And I want it for you. 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 Yes. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, give me John 17 and 21. John 17 and 21. That they all may be one. As thou, Father, art in me. And I in thee. That they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Wow. Even Jesus crying for intimacy. The blood has the same agenda. Write this down. Your intimacy develops your identity. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Did yes, you hear that? Yes. yes. Lord. Your intimacy develops your identity. That's good. Yo, I, please write this down because this is going to bless you. See, this is what the blood is after. See, once the blood develops a healthy prayer life, then the blood can help us develop an intimacy. And that's why he, see, we was once a fall, but now we are now. Woo! My God, they should have made you ex excited. Now, you and Papa are father and son. You're not father and stranger. You're not God. You're not, he, he don't, he don't want to be creator. He want to be father to you. He wants an intimate relationship, and the blood develops that with intimacy. Intimacy develops your identity. Your identity is a weapon that defends the opposition from the adversary. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Your identity is a weapon that defends opposition from the adversary. Let me prove it to you. Give me Matthew 4 and 6, Elder Blitz. Matthew 4 and 6. See, once your identity is, whoo, God, I'm about to get in trouble. Might as well anyway. See, once your identity is developed, you won't go to church and look for entertainment. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're not attracted to entertainment. Ooh. You ready to do demonstration, model shaking. Hey, you, your identity makes you despise entertainment. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, wait, a lot of Christians have to entertain. A one that's walking in identity is not is not, not appeased by entertainment. Identity is a weapon that defends opposition from the adversary. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Elder Bliss, what does Matthew 4 and 6 says? And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, 
he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. <laughs> Look at, now, now, Blitz, read me uh, Matthew 4 and verse uh, uh, 3. You see? Now watch. See, see what Jesus is doing? Watch this. Because his identity is in place. He goes in the wilderness for 40, 40 days. I believe in that wilderness of 40 days, he gets his identity. Thank God for Joseph. Thank God for Mary. Glory to God. But that's not the identity that God the Father wants him to have. He wants him to have the identity of son of God. And the wilderness experience developed that identity. He comes out, and now the adversary is challenging his identity. And his identity becomes a weapon against the adversary. Matthew 4 and 3, what does it say, Elder Bliss? Elder Bliss? And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Verse, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. See, identity, true identity, or true sonship, I should say, seeks to be fed from the Father and denies opportunity to do magic tricks. Right. He asked him to turn the stone into bread. He needs Jesus to entertain him. He wants Jesus to move in power to prove his sonship. See, power is not the evidence of your sonship. Obedience is. Come on. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's good. Come on, somebody. Hit me tonight. You see? Obedience to the Father is the evidence of sonship. Love displayed to all mankind is the proof of friendship and the proof that your identity has been developed in you. The blood is after this because the blood knows if I can get you to develop your identity, if I can get you to have a healthy prayer life, I can get you to follow the same frequency of your Savior. And you will witness breakthrough every day. Finally, the last thing that the blood would do is help you keep and maintain the strength that you receive in prayer. Hallelujah. Blitz, give me Matthew 4 and 11. Prophet is giving me Luke 22 and 46. The last thing the blood wants you to do, now listen to me very carefully because this is the part of breakthrough that everybody I want you to receive. Whenever God uses you, whenever the word of God uses you, whenever the Holy Spirit uses you, there is a divine setup of replenish that's supposed to come to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This helps you to maintain your strength so that the adversary cannot bombard you. So what the blood does, that's why I'm telling you, that's why I'm saying tonight, that, that, that in the blood, it's a law of breakthrough. So, so whenever we, we release virtue or whenever we, we minister, whenever we pour out, see, there is a system, my oh God mercy, that's in breakthrough that keeps you strengthened so that the adversary won't take advantage of you in your weak moments. The law of breakthrough is in the blood. My God, hallelujah. Matthew 4 and 11, what does it say, uh, Elder Bliss? Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Stop there. So now, so technically, now, okay, now, I want y'all to come closer because I need to say this so that you can hear me. What Jesus just had was real warfare. Let <laughs> me say that again. Because we got so many people talking about they warning. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you ain't warned. Yes. If you was obedient, you wouldn't have to fight. Come on. Uh oh. Well, well. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Warning. I hear this one individual. Every time I called this person, they was warned. It's not that much warfare in the world. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> y'all ain't listening to me tonight. I know y'all don't like this kind of preaching, but I'm a preacher anyway. You see, it has to be said. You're not in warfare all the time. All the time. Thank you, God. Every time you turn around, I had this one individual. Every time I called, every time I talked to him, oh brother, I just got out of war. I just got out of brother. Well, where is there any peace around you? And, and so <laughs> You, 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 you see, that's not a, but Jesus just got out of real warfare with the adversary. Now, I'm glad to say something. The blood is only authorized to replenish you once you have left true warfare. Not at all. <laughs> that's right. Mama. Mercy. The blood is only authorized to replenish or unleash angels. Look at this. Who, who came to him? An angel came because the angel came because he came out of real warfare. This is Jesus. This is Jesus, your savior, the one that died on your cross, that died on, died on the cross for you. That's him. He just came out of warfare. And once he came out of warfare, an angel came to replenish him. And I'm going to show you it's a pattern. So this, this notion that you are weak and, and you don't have strength, probably because you fighting where you ain't authorized to fight. You Come on. somewhere where you're supposed to be. You ain't authorized to be over there. So therefore, you don't lost energy that's supposed to be with you with a real warfare. But now that you illegally in someone else's camp, fighting someone okay. else's fight, oh my illegally God. somewhere where you're supposed to be, and now you don't lost energy, the proof is that it was not reimbursed to you by the kingdom of heaven because the kingdom of heaven only re reimbursed, re re Reimburse what it authorized. Amen. Come on. Oh, helping us. Yes, helping us. That's right. Yes, That's God, right. God, you're helping us. That's right. I'm talking about the law breakthrough in the blood. As soon as Jesus finished war with the devil, he left. And what happened? What, what did I say? The heavens was open. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Because he had a healthy prayer life, and because his identity intact, and because he was obedient, and because he's not fighting a fight, he's not fighting a, a fight of no one else, because he's fighting the one that's authorized by, by heaven, now heaven must now dispatch angels that he angels. said from this day forth, you shall see ascending and descending. Now the angels descended and gave him strength. Glory. Yes. My God. Glory. This is the law of breakthrough. This is why I love this law right here. It's one of my favorite ones that God is putting in the, in the new book. I love this law because now it causes us to now survey whether it's me or God. Because breakthrough don't supposed to be delayed. Glory. Delay oh is only attached to disobedience. That's it. Mm. Jesus. That's it. Oh, that's good. I'm preaching tonight. Come on, talk to me. Yes, right, yes. Let's, let's, let's close it out. Let's close it out. What does Luke 22 and 43 say? And, and you know what? Uh, uh, for, for, for icing on the great uh, prophet, give me Matthew 26 and 53. Uh -huh. let, let's, let's, let's put a little bit of icing on it. What does Luke 22 and 43 say, Elder, Elder Bliss? Woo! Praise God, the law of breakthrough. Luke 22 and 43. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Jesus. This is Jesus about to go and finish his assignment. Is that right? Come on, somebody. Talk to me. Amen. He's about to finish his assignment. He, he's what? He has prayed all night long. He got no help from his brothers. No, hello? See, Amen. the blood would give you breakthrough even when those supposed to help you are absent. Mm, glory. My Lord. Oh, my God. As soon as he finished praying, watch this now. He's praying all night long. He asked them to pray with him. They mm -hmm. could you not pray with me for one hour. Mm. And the Bible said, and he went a distance and dropped and prayed. Come back, they sleep. Hello, somebody. Then he went up further and prayed intensely. Came back, they what? Sleep. Mm -hmm. This is why you need to covenant with the blood. 
Because even though you got people around you skilled to pray, sometimes they be absent when you really need them. And the blood guarantees you that same blessing that Jesus walked in. And when Jesus needed strength, his brother was absent, heaven dispatched angels and they strengthened him. This is a pattern. Praise God. Come on. Prophet, it says, close it out. Praise God. Amen. Matthew 26. Yes. Verse. You got it? What's the verse? 53. 53. 53. Matthew 26 and 53. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father? And he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Thanks tonight. I want to end with this. The, blood, the law of breakthrough that's in the blood guarantees you breakthrough. You know why? Because the blood helps us develop a healthy prayer life. The blood helps us um, uh, already develop Intimacy, an invitation for intimacy. Intimacy, what? Develops what? Identity. Then once your identity is accepted by you, now heaven now supports that with angels. Angelic help is here to help you have breakthrough. Tonight, let's unleash, let's partner with the blood, let's partner with the breakthrough in the blood, so that the blood can give us these blessings that Jesus warned for us to possess. My God, Jesus said, don't you know I can pray to my father and he can send 12 legions of angels and wipe this place off. You have that same blessing. You have come into Mount Zion, into the city of the living God, into a normal company of angels. Angels, yes. You have that same breakthrough, that same power, that same authority, that same assistance. Glory. Stop accepting defeat and stand in the blood and get your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this with me tonight. Come in partnership with the blood so that you can walk in the breakthrough that's in the blood. Say this with me. Heavenly Father, tonight, I partner with Revelation 7 and 14. I thank you for the blood of the Lamb. I decree tonight I partner with the blood of Jesus Christ. I dip my assignment, my life, my family, my business, my divine connection. I dip it in the blood. Blood of Christ, I partner with you. And I may witness breakthrough that's in you. Just as you gave those in Revelation 7 and 14 breakthrough, I shall witness breakthrough in my family, in my life in my ministry, in my finances, in my health, in my assignment, in my purpose. Blood of Christ, I submit to you and your power, your authority, and your voice. Holy Spirit, I surrender to you and your leadership 
help me as the blood goes before me to remain in the same frequency of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, that I am under an open heaven. From this day forward, as I obey the Holy Spirit, the voice of the blood, the voice of the Father, the voice of Jesus, angels will a sin and be sin in my life. Blood of Christ, I give you authority to lead the way and I follow. Cleanse me, wash me, that I may finish what the Lord sent me in the earth to complete. From this day forward, I partner with you, blood of Christ, for the breakthrough you offer. Thank you for a healthy prayer life. Thank you for my identity being fortified in me. And thank you for helping me receive the assistance of angels. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. If you receive that, give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just let out a praise to him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you, God. Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you. Hallelujah. 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 The deception and condemnation is uprooted. Tonight, the blood is destroying the spirit of condemnation and the spirit of delay. And you shall witness breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for the breakthrough. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 Shall do it for us, but it needs our participation. It needs our agreements and the blood. Remember this: if you don't remember anything, the blood is attracted to our confidence. This is Apostle Lee Robson. I want to thank you for watching us tonight. Where are we watching us from tonight? Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. I can't thank you enough, Pastor April. Can't thank you enough. But joining us on this journey of 31 days in the blood. As we stated last night, if this teaching is blessing you, please send us an email. Let us know what it's doing. Some of you, many of you have sent us emails, sent past April emails, letting us know that these teachers are blessed. We are grateful to you. Yes. Hallelujah. Please spread the word. We are counting on you to spread the word to somebody. Somebody needs a breakthrough. And yes. the blood will do it. Remember this. The blood response is immediately. The blood does not believe in delay. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. If this message has blessed you tonight, feel free to sow into this ground. This is good ground. All different ways to sow is right there in front of you. We appreciate you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Join us on our fast. We are doing the Daniel fast for 31 days. We are, we are sowing ourselves 
And we are seeing the great results, just tremendous things are happening. Testimonies are just absolutely amazing. It's time for your testimony. It's time for your breakthrough. I prophesy from this day forward, as you partner with the blood, you will witness breakthrough. And guess what? There will be no more delay. I decree it because of the blood. Thank you for joining us, all YouTubers. We appreciate you. We honor you. Join us. We'll be in, uh, what is this? Uh, we'll be in Mississippi next month. Uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We would love to see you out there. Come on out there. And, and, and we, we'll be out there for five days. Glory to God. And we're going to be teaching on the blood and sonship. Glory to God. We're excited. Hallelujah. If you don't have your book, hallelujah. Shame on you. Get your book. Be a blessing to somebody else in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you is my prayer and my decree, and we honor you tonight. Remember, there's a law in the blood called breakthrough. Accept it. This is Apostle Lee Robson. Thank you for joining us tonight. Join us tomorrow night, same time, same subject, different law. God bless you.